we're just about done with the the rework of the room mysteries quest. I I wish I'd had more time to enjoy it, but I just did not have the patience to listen to any of the storyline or anything, so I did I'm ashamed to say I spammed through it, so collect the really rubbish reward. Yeah, nothing really. No, I'm not sure the spins. If it's looking a little bit laggy, it's because I'm actually processing it. Uh, processing a video at the moment, so medium XP lamp. It's almost worth doing crap quests like that just for the the medium XP lamps. I mean that's that's a quality amount of experience to get. What's this? Oh, no. small cash bag. Okay. I was just walking through Lumbridge swamps, minding my own business, and I just. I found this hut, so we're gonna go in. I don't know. I don't know what it is. We'll see what happens. What the hell? Where am I? Nah, I'm joking. Yeah, just done the uh, Lost City quest. Sorry for the uh, terrible joke, but um, yeah, you can see I've made two Draymond staffs and I made some cinnamon because I know I need it at some point. It just saved me some time going back. Um, let me just pop out these spins a bit quick. That's my third uh, prismatic pendant. I'm probably just going to keep saving them up and then whack them all on agility at some point when I have like a marathon towards 99. That'd be quite epic to do actually. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how many I can save up before I, <laughs> before I do that. But um, yeah, that was the Lost City quest. I'm a bit guided you don't get any experience from it, but it does allow you to do Fairy Tales Part 1. Which does give you some interesting farming experience, so maybe doing that one next. Just getting ready to finish off Monkey Madness. That's right, yeah, I thought I'd just have a go at doing it. Uh, I'm at the boss fight, so I'm just about to teleport there. I thought I may as well. Oh god. Everyone knows this quest, everyone. I hope loves this quest. It's, uh, it's one of the rites of passage to. <laughs> to do, obviously it's to wield a dragon skimitar as well it's such a long quest but okay where is he there he goes I've been told he's not actually that powerful since the evolution of combat so we'll just see how it goes done with the old boss fight finishing the quest can't believe I've managed to do it, it it's always nice to do these sort of things because it makes you feel like more of a it makes it feel like more of an account because this is definitely starting to become my regular account that I play on now. I have got other accounts, obviously, and I have got a main account, but this is I'm definitely spending more time on this one now because I'm just enjoying it so much. So it's it's a completely different experience playing with this action bar in the evolution of combat. It's just it's like a completely different game. Is that the quest done? There we go. Three quest points, 10,000 experience. Um, yeah, I have to talk to somebody else to get the experience. I guess they did it so that Pure is doing it didn't get feel like they had to have the experience. So Anyway, if I pop upstairs, it's Dero or Dayro I've got to speak to. So off we pop. Dayro. And this should be some nice levels as well, because this is probably the most amount of experience I've got in one single go. So it's this. Oh, come on. Focus. Oh, it's going to be attack. Several hours later. Feels like that now. Oh, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Four strength levels, five constitution levels, three attack levels, four defense levels. Wow. Is that 16 levels overall? I got exactly what I wanted. 50 attack and 50 defense, because it means I can now wield rune. As you can see, I've got some Valentine hearts on me and some a heartbreak pendant. Basically, you get these off a... Of the Squeal of Fortune or from doing anything. I've been getting them as drops and every time I do a quest I'm getting loads of squeals. So I'm 
I'm doing them. I've, I managed to get 750. Well, I managed to get, obviously get over that. And I got myself a heartbreak pendant um, check of charges. It's attuned to Hunter. So I don't know how much experience it is. It won't be much because I'm guessing it's based on a level like most of them are. But I'm not far off of another one, which I'll probably attune. It says your highest skills. Your five highest. I'm not sure what that That's probably that. Uh, yeah, well, well, we'll see what I can attune it to. I'll make it hopefully one of the slower skills. I should get a decent amount of experience from that. Um, also, I want to show you, I don't know if it says here. No, it doesn't. But there, I've been basically merchanting these attack potions. Um, hopefully showing this won't ruin it for me. But yeah, it, I don't know why they merch so well. I think it's because you need to do part of the barbar barbarian skills to get into the ancient caverns. And there's so many bots down there that they need to buy these to do the barbarian training to get down there. And there's none of them basically in the Grand Exchange, so I'm able to merge them quite well. They're not quite done selling yet, but I've, I mean, that amount of money I've, from doing nothing, I've just basically left that since, um, when did I buy these? Maybe three weeks ago, I've just left it and I've managed to build up nearly four mil, which is crazy. I'm loving that. How many have I actually... You've sold a total of some five short of selling them. They, I usually sell about 20, maybe 30 a day. It's really good. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what I've done for money. And it's what I'm going to be. I'll probably go train Hunter now with the pendant. Hopefully, get some more of these and then make another one. Okay, so I've got my pendant on the Heartbreak pendant. It's attuned to Hunter. Because look at that 10. That's just shocking. So I'm at Vine Sweeper, and anyone that doesn't know about this training technique, it's very useful. I mean, you can do it from level one. Uh, it's it's a bit you have to run around a lot and hop world sometimes, but basically you just get the rabbits. You have to buy some of these off of the uh, the guys in the middle, and there you go. So it's 45 bonus experience. Wow, that's quite a bit. But yeah, it's it's quite a lot for starting at level one. So hopefully I'll stay here till about level 20, get um, training on the tropical wagtails, and I'm, I'll be interested to see how long this thing lasts, because some people say it lasts for a total of, there you go, level there, a total of 35,000 experience, which is quite a lot. I'm thinking it might be it based on your level, but I mean, if it isn't, and it is 35,000 experience, that's crazy, because... You can basically buy these things because all you do is buy the hearts and then make them. So you can just use GP to buy XP, which is wrong. I hate that. But I hey, I didn't buy these. I got them off of the Screen of Fortune. It's not something. Yeah, you know, it's not something I actively went and got. It's just something I ended up having. So, and whilst it's there, you can't not use it because otherwise you're just doing yourself a disservice. So. Look at that, I'm already level 12. I sh it shouldn't take me long to get to level 20, but I'll probably start recording when I get it and when I move on to Tropical Wagtails. Alright, so I've been here for a little bit now. I'm one rabbit away from 20 Hunter. So as soon as I feed this one, come on, there we go. Level 20. I don't know if you heard that car just go past, but that was quite loud. Um, 20 Hunter. You, you only need 19 for tropical wagtails, but I thought while I'm here, I might as well just get 20. It might help me you know, catch them a little bit faster as well. And if I check the charges, wow, there really just some loud cars outside today, aren't there? Yeah, wow. Keep getting louder, please. I enjoy that so much. Um, 94%. So I don't think it is 34,000 experience or 35,000 experience. I think it is. It's going to be based off of basically, however, what what level or experience I've got. So I I, I think that's a more logical way to do it, rather than say, ah, oh, you're level one. How about you get a 35k boost on your experience? Is this? Ah, uh, I know Jagets do some crazy things, but I don't think they're that crazy. So it, it, I think it does go with the same sort of pattern as the pr prismatic pendants and things like that. So well, I'll, I'll see how far it gets me anyway. I'm going to shoot off to Tropical Wagtails. I might start recording as I'm getting levels or when I've exhausted the pendant. I'm not really sure. Alright, so like I said, Tropical Wagtail time. 
the, I just got a 238 experience drop, so this should be some good leveling. I'm going to stay here basically until this thing runs out, so I could be here for a while, or it might run out really quickly. I, I'm not sure how, how much experience I'm going to get from it. I might actually make a little counter just just to see. Um, the I've got the action bar set up, so I've got, I can press 0 to set a trap, 1 to drop the meat, and then 2 to bury the bones. So it should be a bit quicker. Hunter isn't exactly my favourite skill, but I need to get out of the way, and I might make a little bit of money off of it in the future. So, hey, but look, no bot touching jumpers. I, I, that's the first time I've ever seen that. I can't believe that. Uh, EOC did something, I guess. <laughs> I don't know whether that's uh, them getting caught or whether it's just not worth it doing it now. But they're not here, so that's definitely a plus. Bam. Okay, so uh, just hit 40 Hunter. It sort of caught me by surprise. I wasn't really paying attention, but I wanted to record it anyway. I've still got, check the charges, 36%. So it's looking like I do get about 35,000 extra experience, which is crazy. But I mean, I'm, I'm going to take it. It's definitely going to help these early levels a lot. I got a target there, 51. I'm not sure there's a, there's a quest or something that I wanted to get it for, but I, I won't get it off this. Obviously, I, I, I'm thinking I might get maybe 43, 44, and then um, yeah, the pendant will probably run out, and I'll probably stop doing it. Maybe go back to fishing for a bit. Your heartbreak pendant has run out of charge, and in doing so, has broken my heart. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, it was fun while it lasted. I managed to get 34 levels off of it, so I'm not even going to bother complaining. I guess this is just sort of one of the indicators about how the game goes nowadays. I mean, things are a lot easier. It's, 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 it's nice to have, but I mean, I don't know, everyone maybe hates the grind of skills and things, but there is more of a sense of achievement. But hey, I'm just playing the game as it is, so... I got level 44 hunter, 53,000, that was just off of the tropical wagtail, 53,000 experience. So I think it was the full, it gave you maybe 35,000 bonus experience, which is insane. I mean, I would have only had, what's that, 24,000, 23,000 overall experience. I'm not sure what level that is, maybe 35, I don't know, 33, it's, but... You know, that's, that's the amount of levels I've made, managed to gain off of it. Um, I've got uh, the other sort of pendant. I'm not sure what it's called. But it picks your five higher skills and then you can gain experience in that. I'm probably going to put it on fishing. Um, finish off the moat with some fishing. And then see where I go from there. Yeah, going to be fishing for the rest of the... Mm, what is your level in fishing? I am... Is it F2? F9, I can't remember what I got pressed. I'll I'll reply to him in a minute. Um yeah, I'm gonna be fishing for a while. It's I've uh, got my strike feathers on me because I get these rainbow fish. I'm getting two hundred experience per catch. So I'm just gonna chill out. I've got my fishing urns, I'm gonna watch a little bit of Dexter. I'm gonna have a nice little relaxing night and see how many levels I can get. And I'll I'll record maybe when I get sixty, I'll record when I'm going to probably stop, so yeah, we'll see how many levels I can get oh, ah, two more levels and I'm at the 900 uh, total level so that'd be quite a nice little achievement to get as well alright, so I finished off the pendant on fishing check charges, run out of power um, I did get to level 60 which I'm quite happy with so it's still my highest skill and I'm still going to make sure I try and get it to 91 as fast as I can because I want to unlock those ports. It's going to take me a while, but I will get there. Um, I might try and just fish as much as I can for the rest of the night and see how many levels I can get. As you can see here, I've just uh, completed Horror from the Deep. I didn't think the quest would end as soon as you finish the boss fight. I thought you'd have to talk to someone, but yeah, it was quite a, a fairly challenging boss fight. It's, it's definitely a lot more engaging with uh, the evolution combat, so. Enjoyed it. Uh, 4,662 experience in each of range, magic, and strength, which is going to help a lot. 
especially seeing as I haven't trained range at all, so it's going to be awful. Um, two extra things, you know, well, the usual stuff, two quest points. Oh dear, let's get out of here. Um, I, and I'm not sure if like it's a decent place to train, but it might be. How many strength levels? One strength level, two magic levels, level 40. That's what I'm looking for. So now I can wield um, an air, a mystic air staff, which is a lot more powerful than air battle staff, which is awesome. And 10 range levels, very useful. Still very low. One of my, it is my lowest combat skill, so I definitely need to get get out of it. Um, let's finish off the squeals. Valentine heart. These things are very good. I only just realized that they actually sell for about a K each, possibly even more. So <laughs> I I had no idea. I mean, I lost basically 1.4 mil on the the getting the uh, getting the uh, experience necklaces. So yeah, I'm I'm a little bit annoyed about that, but yeah, I can't have all. If I keep getting them though, I mean, how many was that? I was, 500 odd, that's not going to be another 500k. I can't believe they're, they're actually selling for that much, but yeah, I'm definitely going to go off and sell them because I'm not going to use them at all. Why have I got a rusty, rusty character? Oh, anyway, that's uh, Heart for the Deep. I just uh, wanted to show a quick trade of what's happening here. Like, they're actually selling for a K each. Look, I'm not ripping you off, I'm not scamming 1k each. I mean, I'm sure he's probably going to sell them for profit, but. It's so easy for me to sell them. I'm in World 2, everyone's buying them, so selling hearts 2k each. <laughs> See, people are always trying to make a profit. But yeah, um, I might just do a bunch of easy quests, get some spins, get the hearts, and then keep selling them. <laughs> it's one way to go do it, isn't it? So, Just finishing probably one of the hardest quests in RuneScape at the moment. I mean, I know there's a new Grandmaster one coming out later this week, but it's probably one of the hardest. There we go. Finished it. It was difficult, but I bought in the beads and um, I got my reward. And I'm a little bit tired after that, so I don't know what I'm going to do next. And there we go. That's another quest done. Buyers and sellers. Took me about three minutes, and I'm probably just going to go and do a couple of sub quests now as well. Finishing off the first sub quest. Um, how's it going over there? I guess I'll just use it on him. That'll open up another bit of the guild as well, as far as I can remember. 1000 theme experience, 2 extra spins, that's what I'm looking for. Plague City, done. 2000, is that level? No. Okay, next quest. Here we have Elemental Workshop 1. Smith the Shield. There we go. That's a lot of experience, wow. I didn't, wasn't expecting that much. Continue. 5000 Smith experience, 5000 Gravity. Two smithing levels and a single crafting level, so that's not too bad. Okay, so I am just finishing up uh, Swept Away here. You actually get pretty decent experience after reward from this from uh, drinking from our cauldron, so of course I could. Oh, apparently, I have one more little thing I've got to do. Yeah, I'll just do it. Talk to her again. Serve the cauldron for you. Come on, show me the quest complete. I know, I know. There we go, two quest points. Two extra spins. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm collecting the spins at the moment. But I'm also going to... I wish I could just drink all ten bowls. That'd be easier. Well, I'm going to use this all on agility, so I'll record when I use the last one. Okay, just use the last one. Uh, I did get an agility level off it. 42 agility, as you can see. And not too far off the next one, so I definitely like uh, a little extra reward after a quest like that. It's definitely useful. And uh, I've actually got, I've actually built up 12 squeal spins because of all the quests I've been doing. And the major, main reason I want to do it is for these hearts because, yeah, they sell for an absolute ton. So hopefully, well, there's 91 there. And small XP lamp, obviously, all these things help. There you go, 274. Small XP lamp. Another few Valentine's hearts. I'm not really sure what that is. Is that tradable? I'll oh, claim it, may as well. Spin again. Spin now. Small XP lamp. 
pack came up from inventory is full. Now if we take the walls off rope. Again. Spin again. Spin now. A plank. See, I mean, if I was to go on five spins, I could make so much money off of these hearts. It's absolutely insane. But I'm going to go sell all those hearts and uh, show you the money I make. There we are, just selling some more hearts. 462k. That's, it, this is crazy money making. Yeah, and I think these hearts are still in the game until the well, it's still on the squeal wheel until the twenty seventh, might be twenty fifth. So if I can just do as many quests as I can, get as many squid uh, spins as I can, I can actually use it as a decent money making method, which is sort of insane. But it's there, and I've got to use it because I need to make money for all my levels. So I'm gonna do it in the creepy drain or manner at the moment. Just finishing off uh, Ernest the chicken. And there is the chicken. There we go. Surely if a scientist has found a way to turn a human into a chicken, he should be more famous. But anyway, there we go. Two extra spins. Go like before. Give me those hearts. All spin together. Ooh, the multi leg. I've actually almost completed this set. I just need to top that. And then we'll take it. Medium XP max for cooking. And a small cash bag. It, it's weird, like, everything I'm getting, because all of my levels need to go up, and I need money, and, you know, any anything I get off the screen of fortune at the moment is helping me, so, getting all these spins with quests is, I don't know, it's kind of overpowered, but I'm not just going to leave them there not doing anything, so. I am uh, at Runespan, just doing a bit of runecrafting whilst editing episode 5 of Max from the beginning um, so I've managed to gain a couple of levels whilst making the video so no XP waste here, Suomi would be proud um, I've gained a couple of levels, I'm not quite sure but I'm level 35 now and I'm I'm pretty sure that that's a bot that's a bot and that's a bot because if you notice they've got just a, a sort of generic name followed by three numbers and so is he so is he, I think. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why they're runecrafting. I'm, I'm a little bit worried <laughs> as to why they're doing that. I don't know whether there's like a new botting thing where you get you come here, train, get to a certain level, and then go and, I don't know, bot nature runes or something. I don't know. But I don't think that making runes is good money. So, so I don't know what they're doing. But yeah, they're, de they're definitely bots. Um, I can just show you the bank a bit quick. Yeah, let's go for the bank. And uh, the main thing that's changed is this tab here, which is uh, my like gear tab. I've upgraded to room because I got 50 defense. I've upgraded to bat wing. I've upgraded to blue dehyde. There's also there's all, like a lot of crap in here as well. I, I need to clear this out. Um, I've managed to get more runes because I've been able to have quite a bit of money this time. Um, I don't think much else has changed. I've got these Gree Grees from Monkey Man Madness. I've decided just to make them all at once. And um, I think that's pretty much it for... I must, I must be getting near to finishing all those off. When I do, I'll, I'll definitely add them all once I get them all. Because uh, you get some decent XP off of them. Um, yeah, so that, that's, uh, that's it for episode 5. As you can see, total level 926. So I made quite a lot of progress today. Even though it was quite dominated by the squeal wheel, which I'm, you know, I'm not really happy about, but I, I haven't got a choice. That that's the game now. I mean, as a new player, it, it just helps out so much to have it, and it would be silly not to use it because it's there. So if you, if people hate it, I'm sorry, but you know, <laughs> I'm afraid that that is part of the experience now. Some people call it squealscape, and you know, I guess they're probably right. But yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, add to favourites, I don't know, do anything. I'm not sure if that stuff helps, but yeah, if you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Alright, cheers.